You know, ever since a week ago, a little over that. Oh, sorry. So you guys can't see me. That was my fault. But you know, a little over a week ago, if not a little before, a little up, a little after that, a little before that. Uh, when Ian Flynn and the Archie Comics panel, mostly the Sonic um, portion of it, uh, revealed, did the unveiling of things to come in the next year. One of the unveilings was Sally's proposed new redesign. I can tell you it's gotten quite the mixed reaction. I'm pretty sure you guys know about that because I've reported on it. A lot of other people have reported on it. Um, you know, people have discussed it. In fact, Darth Arm in the Shadow, I'll provide a link to one of his, if not two of his videos on it. You guys can check that out for yourself. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people have been wondering, why now? Now, even though, as it's been talked about before, and Ian Flynn even talked about this, saying that it's a redesign, that right now it's nothing more than a rough teaser concept, a rough concept teaser. In other words, it may be tweaked from what he understands because of the reaction, it might get a tweaking here and there, or it might just be the final design. Hold on for a second. Let that go by, which is a recycling truck, makes a lot of noise. But anyway, people, you know, people have had their mixed reactions about it. Like I said, Ian Flynn has come out and said, hey, look, so far the fan input and reaction we've got from it. Basically, he's saying could cause it to have could cause the design to be finalized the way it is, or be tweaked. And like I said, some of the things people have notably have noticed and said that need to probably be restored in some ways to, I guess, make it passable, is to have her look more facially like Sally, like Sally in the face, and mostly like give her back her cheek fluffs, those little tufts of fur on her cheek, cheeks, so that at least they can say, yeah, it is Sally. Uh, because apparently a lot of people feel right now the design, the rough concept teaser, makes it look a little too s segified, according to some. Makes it, little, makes it look almost like, according to one person, Marina Raccoon's twin sister. <laughs> if you will. But Ian Flynn has basically said, apparently from what he said, if you want to take it at face value, then not much except for the clothing and maybe a bit of the fe facial features uh, that, have, that except basically from what Ian Flynn said yeah, that from the clothing, not just from the clothing but maybe some of the facial features that nothing else will change. That basically he's saying Sally still Sally. But here's the question that a lot of people have talking about that have really been asking and I've never really had a chance to talk about this much or even ask it. You know, I try to fit the whole thing there, if not the whole question there, or the whole topic title there. If not, some of it will be down in the description box. But the question obviously is what obviously everybody has is, was this current story, is, was and is this current story arc that Ian Flynn is doing, his epic masterpiece, a story arc, if you will, that he obviously has been wanting to do, was it nothing more, and is it nothing more, than an excuse to get Sally fully clothed? You see, that, that is the question. Was, the, was and is this story arc an excuse to get Sally fully clothed? You know, that is a question a lot of people want answered. And when the unveiling of, of the rough concept teaser of what she'll look like next year came about, a lot of people, including myself, were credited for calling out exactly what was going to happen. I've said this before, I'll say it again. One person on the Saturday Morning Sonic forums uh, named Natalie basically said as soon as she saw and heard what was happening, she said B.W. Rosas, because that's the same username I use there, like I do here on YouTube, she pretty much said B.W. Rosas called it. And I'm not the only one. A lot of people apparently called it. A lot of people over at the Sega St Sonic Stadium message board called it in the Archie Sonic to, in the Archie Sonic the Hedgehog uh, section of the topics in the cartoon and cartoon and comics po uh, portion of the Sega message boards. They called it. 
People at Saturn AM sign it called it, DeviantArt, Facebook, Twitter. Apparently a lot of people called exactly what was going to happen as soon as, Mecha, as soon as Sally's mechanized form was revealed last year, pretty much called what was going to happen. So, but now the question is, was this story arc an excuse to do this? Well, I can't, well, honestly, because I haven't read any of the issues yet, and I will, do not worry, that will occur, it will happen. I know a lot of people are upset about that, thinking you're wasting your money if you're not opening them. My choice, okay, my choice. Second of all, but most of, but second of all, you know, a lot of people are wondering, was this, this current story arc, is this current story arc, and was it more so just to get Sally fully closed? Um, again, I can't really say because, one, I haven't really read much about it. I only read through summaries, listened to spoiler reviews, and read spoilers and stuff like that to kind of get an idea of what was going on. So I can't really say that much, but, you know, if it was, you know, I'll, I'll put it this way. If this story arc was nothing more than an excuse to get Sally fully clothed, then I will say this. I'm in agreement with those that said, that have said, that have come out and said that Ian Flynn should have uh, gone, gone a different way with it. You know, if you're going to do an epic story arc, that's fine. But if it's nothing more than say, oh, by the way, the end result's going to have Sally fully closed, well, de-roboticized, or no, she's going to have a new re redesign where she's fully closed and everything. Uh, if that was the case, again, I agree. You know, you could have gone with it in a different direction. You know, it's, like I said, it's okay to do an epic story arc if you feel like it, and possibly have it culminate with a crossover with another comic book title, another comic book hero, or another hero from another comic book title. That's cool and everything, but again, like a lot of people said, you could have gone with it a different way. Now, I understand some people will probably stand up and stand up and say, well, you know, Ian basically is trying to come full circle, and I understand that. I understand he's trying to come full circle, but if this was the reason, if this was the true intention for the story arc, you know, you could have gone, gone with it a different way, like many people said. There are some people, like I mentioned one person, Laser X5, known as Jonathan 83 x here, I think, said it best. They said, basically, you could have done a side story, Ian Flynn could have done a side story, where you had Sally with Bunny or Amy go shopping at a mall, have either one of them tease Sally about, oh, he's just wearing the, the vest and the boots and being a tomboy, show her an outfit saying, you'd never wear this, even if you bought it, have Sally buy it, and then have her put it on and say, okay, look, I think it's cool. Maybe I'll wear it from now on. Or maybe I'll try this outfit out. Maybe I'll try this new look out for a while. I mean, the, I mean, again, I agree. That could have been an easier way to do it. I mean, take a look what they did within the span of just a few pages, on panel and off panel, in issue 177. They, Ian Flynn basically had Buddy Rab on off panel cut Sally's hair back to the way it was. After what, 47 plus issues, about 47, 48 issues plus, but nearly, four, about almost what, about 46 and a half issues worth of her having long hair? You know? And all of a sudden it's back to normal after what, four years? Just about? Just about four years? So, you know, they could do that within the few pages on and off panel, then if this, then, then why couldn't probably Ian do that with the changing of clothes? In other words, the, clothes re, the clothing redesign. If that's what this whole, if that's basically what this whole story arc's been about. Why couldn't he do that within the pages of a few pages? Of, why couldn't he do that within, you know, within a short story of a few pages as a backstory or something like that? Why couldn't he do that then? But again, you know, why couldn't he do that? You know, makes you wonder, right? But that's all depending on if that's all the story arc's been about. 
which I don't think, which honestly, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think this entire story arc is about that. I don't. I don't think this entire story arc is just about her getting a redesign. I think there's more to it. And again, I'm trying to take exactly what, as he mentioned in his updated journal, or his updated additions to his journal, I'm trying to take what he's saying at face value. I'm trying to believe and give him the benefit of the doubt that what he's got planned with this story arc is more than just a redesign. That's what I'm trying to figure out in my mind. I'm thinking it's got to be there's got to be more to this than just a re than just her getting a redesign. There's got to be. I mean, you don't just come out, as some people say, and do an unveiling, you know, without making people think. But again, it makes you wonder exactly how it's going to come about. Because one of the things he said when he talked about how she'll be restored is that he couldn't give away, basically, is that just by showing it, just by showing this rough concept teaser image, it doesn't exactly say how, when, and at what cost she'll be restored. Now, a lot of people have looked at that last, those last two words of the quote-unquote what cost deal. And people wonder exactly what does he mean by at what cost? What does he mean? And it makes me think maybe we're going to have a few things happen. We might have something to where everybody kind of goes like through some kind of a, where time kind of goes backwards and everybody gets a little younger, but still retains their personalities. You know what I'm saying? They kind of still retain their personalities, but they're younger. Makes you think, right? Makes you think, well, why would he do that? I'm not saying he would. I'm kind of thinking back to, to back to the, um, the saga that in the third in the second to third season, that in the third season, I believe, in the last season of Mighty Morphin, Power Rangers, if you will, where it did a mini arc called Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, where for that arc, you had the Rangers reduced to kids, but they still retained their personalities. They still remain, retain the memories of who they were, of who they are. And it makes me think, what if Ian was to do that. Maybe that's the what cost aspect. Maybe if he, what if he was to do something like that? Everybody kind of shrinks, kind of de-ages by just a few years. Even Sonic. Even Sonic himself. Even Sonic, Amy, and Tails, and Knuckles themselves. What if they got de-aged by a few years? That, that, and, and that's the what cost deal. But they still retain their personalities, just like Sally would. Just like Bunny would, and Rotor, and Antoine. They all retain their personalities. It makes you think, maybe that's what he's talking about. And maybe that's the reason for the redesign. But we won't know just yet. And that's the one thing that sticks out in people's mind. That's what makes me think that, that that's what makes me think that there could be more to this story arc than just her getting a redesign. Because again, if it's just about, if that's just going to be the end result right there, again, I agree with people like Jonathan 83X and a few others. You could have done it as a side story with her going clothes shopping at a mall with Bunny or Amy, having them tease them that she'd never wear any more anything else than just a vest and the boots, have a wear have a bicep outfit that was presented at the NYCC, and say, "Hey, I'm going to try this out for a while and see what happens." You know, again, it could have been easily done as a side story, but that's if that's a, but that's if that's what this whole story arc has been and will be about. Uh, at, towards the end. But again, I feel, because I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, that there might be more to it than meets the eye. I just feel it. But again, that's, but again, but again, the question is asked, asked, and I'm asking that to anybody here, on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you know, I'm asking this. Do you think that's what this whole story has been about? Or is this what it's all going to lead up to? I mean, I can understand why people feel this way, why people look at it from that perspective. You have people like, well, you have several members. I'm not going to name who they are. But you have several members at Satyam Sonic. You have several members at the Sega Forums. 
You have several members at Sonic Stadium. You have several members at Saturday Morning Sonic. You have several members at DeviantArt for Affiniate. You have several members at Facebook in their Sonic groups. You have several members on Twitter. And even members here on YouTube that are all asking, the, are all basically stating and feeling that the reason for this overblown story arc, in their opinion, that the reason Ian Flynn has done really nothing with Met Sally in her mechanized form, the reason she hasn't really been the threat that she should be, is all because this arc, as they put it, has been nothing more than an excuse to get a, a redesign when she's de-roboticized. And, you know, I can't blame people for feeling that way. Because it does seem like that from a, pers from a perspective, when you look at it, from a different perspective, from their perspective and se several other perspectives, it does seem like that. I mean, I'm sure he's getting the same kind of comments over at the Bumble King forum. Maybe not as much, maybe not as much so, but I feel he's getting the same kind of comments, the same kind of reaction, like, like basically like, you put us, you're putting us through this whole freaking story arc, interrupting it with these one-off tie-ins and publications and adaptions and, you know, basically, you know, advertisement issues, product, advertisement product issues and stuff, as well as a four-issue summer crossover arc, just so you can, at the end, put her in clothes, just give her a redesign where she's fully clothed, and that's it? That's what this whole thing's been about? You know, I can't really blame people for feeling, feeling like that and asking him those questions and talking about that and saying that and mentioning that on all these forms, including his own. But, again, we don't really know if that's what this whole thing's been about. We don't know. I mean, I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm trying to feel that there's more to this than meets the eye. I'm trying to feel that maybe that cost situation, that what cost, quote unquote, what cost situation you talked about, could have something to do with time, if you know what I mean. But maybe not. But we'll just have to wait and see. But again, I, again, I understand exactly where some of these people are coming from. I get what they're talking about when they say, you know, when they come out and say basically things like he's based when they say things and talk about the fact that this whole story arc that he's currently doing, interrupting, like I said, with the uh, advertising issues and the upcoming crossover has been nothing more than an excuse to get her fully clothed. I can understand why they feel that way. But again, whether we like the guy or not, we got to give him the benefit of the doubt and take at face value what he's saying. And I feel there's more to this story arc than just the redesign. I mean, come on, you don't just do a huge story arc like this, which I believe is something, which I feel is something he just wanted to get off. He just had to get done, get it off his chest. That's and everything, because maybe he couldn't really, because maybe, and this is just my opinion, this is my opinion, folks, just my opinion, maybe he couldn't get his other M uh, story adapted the way he wanted. Just saying. It's my opinion. But I feel maybe he just needed to get some kind of huge story off his chest. And that's where this came from. So, but I ask you the question. I ask you the question here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. I'm going to ask it in text over at the forums. Do you think this whole story arc has been nothing more than an excuse to get a fully clothed? Or do you think there's more to this story arc, this current story arc, than just a redesign? Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. Video responses are greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you all later. But please let me know what your thoughts are. God bless.